this is embarrassing, <laughs> as is this entire process that I'm filming. This week has not been going as planned. Um, I fully intended to do a full declutter of all of the cabinets back here um, this week for my, for my video, for my upload, but that has not happened. It is Thursday, so time is running out if I would like to get something up here. Um, and that's okay, that's okay. It's all about how we deal with the things that are happening in our lives, not necessarily about what is happening. And actually what I plan to do after I eat some lunch, because I haven't eaten at all today yet, um, after I eat some lunch, I'm going to just pick one cabinet and I'm going to declutter one cabinet because one, one cabinet's better than no cabinets, right? And I think this is the shift that I'm really working hard on uh, this year in my brain is it doesn't have to be all or nothing, right? This week I could have easily said, you know what? I don't have time to do my entire kitchen. I don't have time to make this whole video. Um, so I'm just not gonna do one. I'll just do it next week. But that's not how I wanna live. I, I wanna be a woman of my word. I want to stick with my goals um, and make progress every single week. I want to make a little bit of progress every week. And so I'm gonna just do one cabinet and it's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna eat lunch and then I will come back and we will do one cabinet. All right, we are back. We are gonna look in the cabinets and just make a decision about what, um, which cabinet I would like to deal with first. This would probably be an easy one. This is just, as you can see, like bowls, cups, glasses, plates. Um, we have pared this down already somewhat, but there are still a few things that I don't, um, I don't really want to be in here. And then there's also some extra, um, extra cups and things on our counter. This is so embarrassing, but on our counter that like this one, this one, this one that, um, that I, I just don't like them in here. So that is one option. Next, we have this terrifying cabinet. Um, there's a little blender thing we don't use anymore because we got a Vitamix. Um, there is just randomness here, some formula. There's stuff hiding back behind here. Um, vitamins, a formula that my daughter will never drink. So that's option two to deal with today. This is a scary one, option number three. Now we're getting to some food items. So I've got my electrolytes and stuff up on top there, some peanut butter, Nutella, other things. And then this is where we keep our bread. I don't know why, but that's where we keep our bread. So this is an option. It is a scary option, but probably a fairly quick one to deal with. So that's that one. That. I don't really know even what's up there, to be honest with you. Oh, coffee, K, K uh, cups, and some hot sauce. And yeah, that doesn't seem like worth doing an entire video on. Now we are also getting to another one that is intense. This is what I call the tea and spice <laughs> cabinet. Um, I don't even know what I would do with this one if I'm being honest. And then this one is adjacent. I guess I could tackle these two at the same time. Um, but I don't really have a vision for what else, like what we would do with this. So maybe that's for another time when I have more of a plan. And then this one, God help me. Um, this one has just random toddler food. It has cookie icing from Christmas, um, our crock pot just that kind of stuff. Again, this is one I don't really know what I want it to be moving forward, but that is it. And then this one I actually use fairly frequently. It has my like vitamins, a bag of vitamins up there and medication, um, more K-cups, 
random snacks and stuff up there. Um, and then just a graveyard of toddler snacks um, and vitamins and pens and dry erase markers. So <laughs> this one would probably be a good one um, to get clean. But again, I'm not really sure what the vision is. So these are the upper cabinets. I could go through like the lower cabinets as well. Okay, like I was saying, I could also show you some of the lower cabinets, but I think we have plenty to work with with the upper cabinets. Um, where I'm, what I was saying is just like, I, I get stuck with like, I get stuck with starting because it's like, I have to have this vision for how I want everything to be. And I have to have like bins to organize everything and containers and all this stuff. And I don't have that right now, but I think if I just declutter, like just start getting rid of stuff, it's going to feel better. Um, and then I can worry about the details later. Like I will take you with me over to the pantry, which is what I worked on um, in the last video last week. And the pantry still actually looks pretty good a week later. This is still pretty clear. Um, this looks chaotic, but it really is still pretty organized. Just chip bags are big. Um, and then down here, this still looks pretty good. I still got the nuts and fruits in one, the protein bars and stuff, nut bars here, toddler snacks here. Um, and then down here, like this all still looks good. And then the floor is still pretty clear. So I didn't need a bunch of like fancy, <laughs> fancy organization uh, containers. I just needed to um, just get stuff out so that it would be clear. And now it's been about a week since I did that and it still looks great and it's easier to work with. So I'm going to just clear this out. I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna clear it out and we'll see where we land with time because my toddler is napping. That is really my filming schedule is <laughs> when my toddler is napping. So let's get started. Let's just clear this out, see what we wanna keep, see what we wanna get rid of. Um, and let's just do one cabinet, see how we feel. All right, here we go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just grab my handy dandy um, garbage bag because we're gonna have some garbage. Um, okay, peanut butter, we need crunchy peanut butter, we need brand new Nutella. Oh, that my son did not close properly. Um, this probably doesn't live here, so we're just gonna set it down. <laughs> this bread is still good. This bread is still good. This bread is still good. So we're just getting started. Um, I did a little bit, but I wanted to check on the um, volume and everything and the angle here. So I'm gonna look at the back of my head and my side of my face, which whatever, but... Okay, so we are getting rid of things. So this bread, no good. Um, those hamburger buns are super old. Bagel, super old. Um, these bagels I've known are expired for the last few days and I haven't thrown them away. So here we go, throw them away. Um, pudding, don't know what to do with that. Um, almost empty, my daughter doesn't eat this anymore. Mm, and I don't know. This is, this is old, this is, I don't even know how old, yeah. this. Today is January 24th, 2024. Um, this, wait, no, this is January 25th, 2024. Um, this expired August 19th, 2022. So almost two years old. Um, Jello. I have a lot of uh, hope. This is another one of my aspirational snacks I talked about in my pantry video. Um, aspirational snacks. This is also a good example. Um, this is like a green juice powder. I actually don't believe this is as healthy as just real, making like a real smoothie. So I'm going to throw it away because I have all the ingredients I need for a real smoothie. Um, but like jello is something that my daughter likes, um, despite the red dye that I feel bad about, but she likes this. And I don't know why I don't just buy ready-made Jello, because I have never made a box of Jello in the last I don't know year. So that's that. Honey, that'll go back in. I'm just this is expired peanut butter. This is um, 
Okay, this is still good. Cornbread mix. This is empty. I don't know why it is still in there. Um, this also is, I believe, expired. Again, I don't know why it's still in there if I know that. Oh, it is not expired. But the last time I ate some, it tasted kind of rancid. So might as well be expired. Um, a piece of Tupperware. Fantastic. Uh, prunes for the baby. I don't know how old this is. How old are you, prunes? I don't know. Oh, here we go. July 2024. She, no. You know what? If I really have to think about it that long, just let's just say goodbye. She is well into eating normal people food, not toddler curries, almond flour. Um, so I don't need to keep all of these toddler snacks. This this is not where the chips go. <laughs> Never has been where the chips go. These have probably been in here for at least six months uh, open, so they just need to go away. Um, no. 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 All right. So there we go. We have cleared out two of these shelves. I'm going to go quick grab a um, step stool, and I will be right back. All right. Step stool has been acquired. Um, this should be very interesting because I have no idea what's in here. Okay, this I'm going to keep. This we're keeping. Uh, prune. Woo! Run away. Uh, this I think is expired. Tuscan herb oil. I have no idea what this is. I think this is like a wedding party favor. I don't know. Uh, goodbye. Are these prune juices good? They are. Okay, so sometimes these are good for constipation, so I will not throw that away. Uh, flax seeds, chia seeds. This is another aspirational item. Bone broth soup. Um, I, no, I don't need it. Um, baby, more baby food, more cornbread mix. And that is it. That is all. That's all that's in there. So, um... I don't know why I'm looking at the dates on the baby food. We've already established <coughs> that, excuse me, that we are not going to feed the one and a half year old baby food anymore. Okay, now is the fun part. Now is here, now here is where we decide what are we doing with this empty space? Um, it is a blank canvas. It could be anything, it could be for anything. Now, because I am a creature of habit and my family uh, are also all creatures of habit. I think it is best if I keep this cabinet space, um, if I keep its use the same. So bread, right? Just so that we aren't losing our minds. I'm going to put bread here. I'm pretty sure this is still fine. Yeah, that's still fine. Um, so the bread can go here. But then I think for this shelf, that's all I want to have here is bread. I don't want to be shoving peanut butter and you know, whatever, jiffy mix, whatever. I don't want this to be for anything else except for bread. That is my vision for this shelf, bread. This shelf, I believe, should be for the things like peanut butter and honey, so, and Nutella, of course. So that will be what that is for. I've got crunchy for me and creamy for everyone else in the house. Um... And that is what that's for, and honey, which is that's great. That's it. That shelf doesn't have to have um, a bunch of other crap on it. It could just have that. Keep it simple. Um, and then this top shelf, this is where I'm struggling a little bit. Like, do I really want to keep all the jello? Am I ever going to make um, banana pudding and jello for my kids? Maybe. I think this is like a good. Maybe. So I guess these can go for right now, maybe on the top. Just put them there. Um, I don't know what I want to do with like muffin mixes and pancake mixes. Um, I don't know that this is where I want them to live. This is just sort of where they landed. So here, so now here's my problem, right? So I have these things, they don't fit in with the vision for this cabinet. But 
I don't know where I want them to live in the end. I don't know where they should go. And also wherever that may be is probably packed and cluttered at the moment. So I don't really know what to do with them. Here's what I'm gonna do for right now. Because there is room in this cabinet, I am going to put them up here. Uh-oh, but that doesn't fit there. All right, I'm gonna put them here, but I'm going to put them behind the uh, peanut butter and everything, like this almond flour as well, um, because I do wanna have a whole cabinet for baking stuff, but I don't have that cabinet right now. So this is where it's gonna go for right now, but stay tuned because I will make another video one day where, um, where we're gonna address that. So that's that. Now, as far as like the chia seeds, flax seeds, um, Pedialyte, all of my like electrolyte stuff, um, this is also a decision point, right? Where, this is still good, okay. This is also a decision point where I'm not fully sure where I want these things to go. This is just where they've been hanging out. So I am gonna go ahead and just put them up here for right now. These are the electrolytes. So they can go here for now while I think about it. The prune juice also is kind of in that same neighborhood of like, if you're sick or you have tummy troubles, like you might want the prune juice. So I'm gonna put that there. <clears throat> and then like muffin, um, baking cups. I'll just put with the baking stuff since I don't know where my permanent baking stuff cabinet is going to be. And then chia seeds and flax seeds, those go with um, like whenever I make smoothies and things like that. So maybe I should put them in a cabinet closer <laughs> to the smoothie station. Uh, so I'll do that. And then um, I, think, I think that's it. I think this cabinet Actually, I see some other jellos peeking out at me that are begging to be put with their friends. So I'm gonna put that there. And then that's it. That is this cabinet for now. Um, like I said, it's a work in progress. I'm gonna find a new home maybe for the baking supplies, but for right now, I think they're okay living here. Um, the important part was that I got rid of stuff that we just absolutely are never going to touch. I got rid of things that were expired. Um, and I have established a new rule that the only thing that goes on this shelf is bread. So at least, <laughs> at least this shelf has a job. Um, this shelf has a multi-purpose function at the moment and as does this shelf, but at least I can see everything, I can get to everything, and I'm not digging through um, a bunch of stuff that is no longer useful. So that is this, I'm gonna close that. And then I think I might be being a little too optimistic. I think we have time for this other shelf. So let's get started and just see how far we get. All right, so I'm not quite sure what the best uh, angle is gonna be for this, but bear with me, we're just gonna do our best. Um, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna do our best. So here is this cabinet. Um, as discussed before, you know, it is mostly just things that, I don't know, it's just kind of become like a catch-all situation um, because we don't have a place for everything and so nothing is in its place. Um, so I'm just gonna take stuff down and then we'll see where we go. So, well like storing bowls in here like why am I storing bowls in a cabinet that clearly I've been using for like snacks and other things so okay. now I can see what I'm working with here so for garbage um, these my daughter likes. So I'm going to 
put that there. Now, I don't know that this is necessarily what I want to keep this uh, cabinet for, for toddler snacks, but because we do have space in the pantry for some toddler snacks. Um, but again, today is not about like solving all of my kitchen problems. This is just about like reducing the clutter um, and getting things to a point where we can just know what we have. Like I can just know the inventory that exists in this house because as I've been operating up until now, um, I have no idea what I already have. Like every time I go to the store, so see I have two open boxes of the same thing. And they're both about halfway gone. Um, and that is because I didn't know how many I had here already. So yeah. So this is to solve, <laughs> this process is just to solve this issue urgently. This is like, I'm triaging the situation. Um, and then at a later date, when I have more time and bandwidth, I will come back around and refine uh, how I want the kitchen to work, ideally. But for right now, this is just emergency intervention. <laughs> um, this is just an emergency intervention. Like this is just so that I can start functioning better. So. Back to the decluttering. Okay, so I'm, I'm uh, consolidating and putting back these teething wafers. <laughs> these are not, okay, the box is toddler teething wafers. Um, these are cookies. So I started hiding, and I'm, I, if my son Amari is watching, hello. Um, you've already discovered the secret, I know, but for a while, I was buying a lot of these like special treat snacks, like cookies and dessert type things um, for his lunches and for my husband's lunches. And so I would put these in the lunches, but then I would buy enough for the week. And then all of a sudden I would get to like Wednesday and there would not be any more left. And I was confused and I realized they were being snacked upon uh, at times that they were not supposed to be. So I thought, oh, I'll hide them. But guess who forgot about them? me. I forgot about them. So I don't actually even know if they're still good. They're fine. They're good. Um, but I think I'm going to actually put these in the pantry so that I don't forget that we have them. Uh, and I'm going to take them out of the decoy box. So that is that. Um, this risotto rice, right? Right rice risotto. Are you still any good? Yeah, no, no, no. Almost a year expired, so we will throw that away. These are not good. They were given to us, but they're not great. Um, this is another decoy box. So many discoveries here. Um, this, my daughter does not care for this. And I am sad because this was expired expensive, right? But if she's not going to eat it, she's not going to eat it. Um, this is unopened still, which is great and still good. So that's perfect. These little teething crackers, she doesn't really eat them, but she might, she might, she might eat them. I need just something to stick them in though. And this is, so I don't have, um, I don't have any fancy bins. So I'm just going to use a little Tupperware for now to kind of contain these. Random Tupperware. Needs to be washed. Um, I talked about these in my last video. These are aspirational snacks. Again, things that I thought my daughter would like, but she does not. I am literally just throwing away like many, many dollars right now. Okay, these are still good. Again, these are prunes. I actually, I'm going to keep this in case we get some constipation issues, but I'm going to put it in that other cabinet where we've already established that the prune juice goes. So that is that. Couscous probably expired. Oh, apparently couscous has a very long shelf life. Um, this is good until September of next year. So I can keep that, but I don't know where I want to keep it. These she does not care for. These um, these are for like six month olds. So this and, and they're expired. Goodbye. Um, 
dry erase markers for my dry erase board. I don't know where I want to keep those. These are good. Goodbye. 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 Okay. These are dessert for my son's lunches. So I'll put those somewhere. Balloons, because of course, why not? Um, and then a bowl and a strainer that don't belong there. So we're gonna put these aside so that I can put them somewhere else. Um, there's a place for this in the pantry, a place for this in the pantry. These are not gonna be eaten. This can go in the pantry. These are some um, chocolate chips. This is empty and has been sitting. <laughs> These are for my son. Uh, he likes Prime because I guess somebody on YouTube rec like started recommending it or whatever. Um, this has been sitting empty for months, so goodbye. And these can go away as well. And this can go away as well. So we are making some good progress. All right, now the K cups, my vitamins, antacids, more vitamins. Uh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> as is this entire process that I'm filming. But this is embarrassing because this is from a trip that we took on an airplane uh, in July of 2023. As mentioned earlier, this is January of 2024. So it has been like, what, five months um, that this bag has been sitting here after flying all the way to Mexico and back. So let's take care of it now. Uh, this, as discussed, prunes, um, we're gonna keep, and then pretty much the rest of it is going to go in the garbage. Okay, more vitamins. Who are these even for? And they're expired anyway, so it doesn't matter. These are toddler snacks that my toddler doesn't like, and they're probably expired anyways. More vitamins for me. More snacks that get thrown away. Also, riddle me this. I don't know if you do this, but um, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm actually making this video because it's really forcing me to uh, think about my actions, right? Like moving forward, like choices that I'm going to make because I have three jars of the same kind of snack. Um, and my daughter doesn't like them, like at all. I don't know why I keep buying them. I think, I think because I wanted her to like them I, really, I, I don't know why I wanted her to like them or thought that she should like them. I think maybe she liked them for a brief period of time when she was about eight months old um, and was just starting to like have snacks and things like that. She is almost 20 months old, um, so almost two. And she, she doesn't like them. She never really, really liked them. So why I have this many full canisters here still, I don't know. So in the future, I'm going to try to convince myself to just buy one of something and see how it goes. I don't know. I don't know why I have these like hoarding tendencies. Like I feel every time I go to the store, I'm like, I gotta stock up, I gotta stock up in case I don't get back to the store. The truth is, I don't work in a regular job right now. Like I don't go to an office from nine to five. And so I can go to the grocery store every day if I want. If I run out of something, I can go to the grocery store. If I don't have time to go to the grocery store or I don't feel like going to the grocery store, I have Walmart Plus. Um, I pay like, I don't know, 12 bucks a month for it. And I can get free delivery 
if I feel like it. Like if I really don't want to go to the store or whatever, Walmart will deliver things to my house for free. Okay. So I don't know why I feel like every time I go to the store, I have to stock up. Um, that might be interesting for me to work on in therapy, actually, because I think that is probably the prime reason that I am in debt and probably the prime reason that we don't have like a big savings account right now. And probably the prime reason that I have all of this extra crap that I don't need and nobody needs and nobody uses and nobody wants. And then it just sits here taking up important real estate in our house um, and causing confusion and distress uh, for no reason. Like there, I'm sure there is a deep psychological reason for it. And I am a counselor. Like... I shouldn't, I don't, I guess I shouldn't know, right? Like everybody's got their stuff that they need to deal with. But like, I didn't grow up poor. I didn't grow up needing or wanting things that I couldn't have. Um, but for some reason, so anyway, back to decluttering. These go in the garbage. That was a uh, deep moment, but yeah, that all goes in the garbage. Um, ugh, calcium is fine. I don't know why I'm not just grabbing um, this ladder that is literally right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Here's another example. Um, I didn't know that this was in there. And I have probably bought like three different bottles of this since I bought this one. Because I didn't know where it was because it got lost. So anyway, um, just another example of something that you know I would have known is there if this was clean and functioning properly but enough of that so here's here's a, a decision point this bag is where I keep all of my medications I keep my supplements my actual prescriptions but as you can see they don't all fit in here so I should probably find a bin that fits everything so that I'm not having this overflow. So I'm going to go find something. I'm just going to make something work. I'm not going to go buy something. I'm just going to find something we have. I'll be back. Um, I found this basket. Uh, it was full of some junk, but it was, um, it was all stuff I could put somewhere else. So this is what's going to work. So that's full. So that's the supplements and vitamins, but, uh-oh, okay. But luckily I found another basket as well. So I'm gonna put the actual prescriptions in this basket. So here's an interesting um, thing that I also, uh, that is part of my hoarding disorder, uh, undiagnosed officially, but I have, okay, <clears throat> I got a prescription for a really powerful, <clears throat> excuse me, I got my, a prescription for a really powerful um, antibiotic when I got home from Mexico, that trip that I just told you about, because uh, I had the horrific stomach bug. Um, but I only took three days of it, as discussed with my doctor. So I have five more days worth, and I am holding on to it. I don't know why. Like, I, if I had need something again, I should probably see a doctor again. But I feel this urge to hold on to it just in case. Same thing with, like, old blood pressure medications. Um, these... <coughs> These are all blood pressure pills that are no longer my current prescription, okay? These are not my current medications. These are what I was taking, I don't know, like six months ago, okay? Um, why do I still have them? Glad you asked. I still have them because in my mind, if we were to have, I don't know, like an apocalypse or 
some sort of war break out here in the United States or something equally as, um, I don't know, like unlikely. I know maybe opinions vary on that, but not super likely, right? That I wouldn't be able to get to a pharmacy within a reasonable amount of time. But I hang on to these because I'm like, well, what if I can't? And what if there's something horrible that happens? And like, I don't have any blood pressure medicine and then I have a stroke and then I'm vulnerable and I'm gonna die in pain and it's gonna be horrible. Um, so that's, <laughs> that's why I have these prescriptions right here, even though these are my current pills for blood pressure. So I'm gonna still keep them because you never know. <laughs> You, I joke with my husband, right? Like, the, you never know. You just never know. Um, which is why, like, I overpack my diaper bag for my daughter. Why I um, overpack for vacations. Why I, you know, want to bring a ton of snacks and water and all kinds of stuff whenever we're on an airplane. Like, my motto is you just never know. Um, which... If you look at our house, which you are looking at our house in, in pieces right now, um, little snapshots, you can see how that mindset has caused me to, um, to just have an excess of things that get in my way, right? And so even though I see it big picture, I see how this mindset is hurting me also, in the back of my mind, I still have that belief. I still have that core belief, like, but what if I need it? What if I need it? What if I need it and then I don't have it and I threw it away? Um, and, you know, Dawn from The Minimal Mom, she, <laughs> she talks about, like, what if I make a mistake, right? I think she had a video within the last month or two, like, I'm afraid of making a mistake as I'm decluttering. And I think this, like the medicine is one of those items that I'm like, that's just too risky. Like I'm not willing to, um, I'm not willing to make that mistake, right? Of like throwing those away and then God forbid I need them. But with other stuff, right? Like all this excess food, all of these things that we just don't eat, I feel like that's a little bit easier to kind of just let go. Um, so baby steps, right? That's what this video today is about. And actually, I am shocked at how much time um, I have had. Like in my mind, I kept telling myself, I don't have time, I don't have time. Like the baby's nap schedule is crazy. This is happening, we're over here, we're over there. Um, you know, I'm never gonna be able to do all this. And actually, now that I'm doing it, it's not that bad. Like I finished that whole cabinet, I'm gonna finish this whole cabinet. And, um, and then I'm going to put stuff away and it's going to be great. So yeah, we're learning a lot today. <laughs> we're learning a lot about my mindset and hopefully you're thinking about your mindset too. And like what sort of thoughts you often tell yourself that are, um, counterproductive or maybe even just not true, right? Like me telling myself that I didn't have time to do this. It wasn't true. It just wasn't true. Now, I didn't have time to do this whole kitchen today, um, but I did have time to do a piece of it. And so if that sounds like you and your brain, I would encourage you to just pick something small. And I think I talk about that in almost every video I've done so far, and I'll probably keep talking about it in every video I'll do moving forward because I can now, after I finish this, have a sense of completeness and a sense of accomplishment um, instead of a sense of guilt, which is what I was feeling all week up until today. I think I mentioned today is Thursday um, and I haven't put out a video yet this week. And so, you know, all day Monday, all day Tuesday, all day yesterday on Wednesday, I'm just like, oh my gosh, when am I going to do this? I don't have time to do this. It's not going to be okay. Like. Maybe I should just pick a different topic or maybe I should do this. 
And the truth is like, I wasted a lot of time and I wasted a lot of energy feeling guilty. Um, when the reality is like, a, if I didn't make a video, fine. If I didn't clean out any of the cabinets, fine. It's been two years since I've done that. So like, fine, no different than any other week, right? Um, but now, because I chose to just do a small chunk, I can be happy about that and I can be proud about it. Um, and then hopefully next week, when I start thinking like, okay, what's my plan next week? Um, for cleaning the cabinets or decluttering the cabinets, I can have a more realistic plan and I can just take action in those small chunks of time that I do have um, so that I can feel good about it and make little bits of progress instead of sitting around and being, you know, upset that nothing is changing and I've gotten nothing done. So. Anyway, that's enough chatting because I got to finish. So let's finish putting all this stuff away. Okay, so I think I have actually found a purpose for this bottom shelf. I think this is where I want to put like lunch boxes. Um, like my son and my husband both have lunch boxes. And they also have, um, yeah, some things that they, they use for lunch, like thermoses and things. So I think that is what I want to do here. That's the vision. But for right now, I've got my K-cups, I've got my medicine, and I've got a couple of toddler snacks, and that's it. So I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and following along as I decluttered two kitchen cabinets, um, not the whole kitchen. I feel better about what I've done today. Um, I feel like I've accomplished something even though it's not everything. And a little bit is better than nothing, right? A little progress is better than no progress at all. So thank you so much. I cannot wait to get to the rest of this, but for right now, I'm really proud of myself and I am proud of you if you are willing to pick something to do, um, even if it's a very small thing. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.